Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. I am bringing back drag queens. Oh shit. Here we go again. It's been a couple of weeks. I haven't had any big drag queen news uh, until now. But before we get into it, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you are not already, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any future episodes. And of course, if you have not already, go to dailywire.com slash Brett to check out the first capsule of my merch collection. I hope you guys like it. I am actually getting in uh, a whole shipment of things to the office later this week because I never got to do a photo shoot in uh, the binge kits, and I'm so excited for you guys to see them on me so that you can really get the texture and all of that. So that is gonna happen in the next couple of weeks. I'm so excited. Stay tuned for that. Back to the more important things. Uh, <laughs> drag queens. The first drag queen event in the metaverse is happening this month. Daily Mail did an article about it. It is called Queens of the Metaverse, where virtual fashion meets drag realness. Because apparently it's not enough that they have infiltrated every children's social event, every parade, every library and school, they also want to be in your metaverse, in your Oculus goggles, parading around in front of you in barely any clothing and very scary makeup. The three people that are going to be in the queens of the metaverse are all people who have been on RuPaul's Drag Race and they are using the technology in the metaverse and with AI to create even more elaborate costumes and wardrobe and headdresses and all that that they might not be able to do as easily in the real world. They're going to do a show and then later this month in September people are going to try to make the AI like metaverse costumes in real life and then do an in-person show. So it's twofold in a way and of course there's some like gay non-binary trans stuff all mixed in per usual i think a couple of the designers are non-binary you get the gist it's as woke as you can get and to be honest i'm not too surprised by this i honestly if you had asked me i would have said i'm guessing there already are drag brunches in the metaverse and initially as i was reading this i was thinking you know maybe this is good we can just keep them there. We can get them out of drag queen story time. We can get them out of school events and kid-friendly brunches and just pack them into the metaverse. But the plan for metaverse and web three is so overwhelming and all encompassing that just sticking something in the metaverse isn't really doing away with them. It's not actually a solution. It's honestly just launching them into the future where they literally have access to everything and every person no matter where you are on the planet. I mean, the only thing that you do not have access to in the metaverse is steak from Good Ranchers. Because even though you might get to go to virtual drag queen brunches and do weird yoga classes with your Oculus goggles on, you can't replicate steak in the metaverse. But I guarantee they are going to try and I guarantee you are going to hate it, which is why you should get ahead of them and order a box of meat from Good Ranchers. And this month in August, when you buy a box of Good Ranchers meat using my promo code, you not only get some delicious food, but you are also supporting Good Ranchers on their mission to give 100,000 meals away to students in need this back to school season. And to help them out on this mission, I am offering 10 of you the chance to come hang out with me on September 21st via Zoom. We will cook steak, I'll answer your questions, and all you need to do to be eligible is go to goodranchers.com slash cooper. You get $30 off plus free shipping, plus you get entered into the giveaway and you get to support Good Ranchers as they are helping kids in need, all while eating delicious steak and laughing at people who are in the metaverse. But really, like the metaverse stuff, it is fascinating. I am guessing that I will have to be involved in it in some way in order to keep up with the trends and the use and all of that stuff. But I will acknowledge that it's a bit creepy because of what I mentioned, because it is so all encompassing, because distance, is not a boundary. There really are no boundaries. And it really weirds me out with all of the drag queen stuff and the trans things and the grooming because they're already going after kids. So then put all of that into a huge metaverse. You have access to everybody. And that's honestly probably what they want because the pressure against drag and drag queens and the trans stuff and grooming, all of that, especially as it pertains to children and children's events, is ramping up. So the creepos are going to have to find other ways, other innovative ways, somewhat like this, to have access to kids and to protect themselves. One thing that they are now doing in the real world is enlisting Antifa to protect these drag events. And that is literally what happened this week in Texas. I shit you not, look at this picture. Here's the building where they were. This is all Antifa members. And this was organized. They had a whole post surrounding a kid-friendly drag brunch. These are all Antifa members surrounding it. They have their guns. They're in the typical black garb. Just ridiculous. Here's a video. Like, where are the police? 
Instead, it's just Antifa. Like, look at all of them. They're all black with their rainbow flags wrapped around them like some kind of battle scarf. And as you can see in the video, there were people who were in attendance that were pushing back against Antifa that were trying to get in to protest the event being held. Antifa did not want that to happen. That's why they were stationed around there to keep the white supremacist Texas fascists away from the drag brunch. Here is a video of them on the other side of the street. Here's like an altercation. So that was happening basically the entire time that the drag queens were in there. I also love this guy in the red because he is having the time of his life getting in this ridiculous woman's face, which I very much appreciate. But now we need to look at the event that Antifa was protecting. And avert your eyes if you are sensitive. I don't even mean to say like sensitive. If you just don't want to see this, it's kind of grotesque. Here we go. Oh. She looks like a, a fat gay Peppa Pig, but a unicorn. Like there's an eight year old boy running around giving this person money. God, that poor kid. Like hysterically jumping around for this drag queen. There are children in attendance. Oh, here we go. More kids sitting there, more drag queens on a table twerking. Great. Okay. This whole culture just baffles me. It already sort of baffled me when I was in LA and I saw drag queens and, you know, drag queen brunches and all of that, but it felt like entertainment. It was kind of like burlesque in a way, like gay burlesque. Burlesque has been around for ages. It is adult entertainment, but I didn't really bat an eye. And now this is like seeping into every aspect of our culture. Imagine if there was burlesque stripper story time. People would have a cow, but they're willing to die on the hill of these people being involved in every part of our children's lives. Is this how you get your sick kicks? What? It's just an ordinary crabby. Oh my goodness. It's just weird. Somebody commented and said to our US friends, you had a good run. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel these days. It's a little depressing. One attendee brought her son to the kid-friendly drag event and proceeded to do this as she was pulling out and leaving. And you need to know she was very drunk, but this is what she did to the protesters. It's not Antifa, but the protesters. She's gonna clash your cause. Get on your mask, lady! Oh, you, you oh Get on your mask, lady! Get on your mask, Okay, just wait, this is gonna be the good part. Literally pulls out her tit as a form of protest while her 12-ish year old son is sitting in the front seat next to her. She flips off protesters and pulls out her boob. That'll really show them. And then if you scroll down in this thread, this is what she was doing before they got in the car. And as you can see, she is very drunk. She's grabbing her son. This kid looks like he does not want to be there. She's so sloppy. Okay, now the kid's flipping off the protesters, learning from the best. She keeps trying to kiss him. He does not want to be kissed. Her boobs are literally hanging out of her shirt. Like all of the children at this event, they need help. And I'm not saying that about them. I mean, they need help from their parents who are so concerned with political activism and being progressive and woke and their own weird ideologies that they're taking kids to crap like this, exposing them to these kinds of altercations, to this kind of activity, and then pulling your boobs out in front of them. I ha like, I have no words. Somebody commented and said, the kid at dinner that night when the dad asks, how was your day? God, uh, well, what this person fails to see is that there probably is not a father in the picture. If I'm being honest, another person said, you know, there are cultures where women are always topless and nursing isn't seen as indecent, right? Like that child probably breastfed and saw those boobs regularly. Boobs are not inherently sexual. Their purpose is to feed babies. Okay, that child is now like 13 years old. I don't think the 13 year old child wants to see the boobs that breastfed him when he was two. Why is she whipping it out as an insult then? I don't see any babies around that she's breastfeeding. You can't make that comment on that video. They're, they're totally different situations. It is just mind boggling to me. Why are we still here? Just to suffer? I sort of mentioned this earlier. The drag queens with kids and sterilizing minors is the hill that these people have decided to die on. 
But I mean, in a way, it kind of works in our favor because so many people with normal decency and common sense are waking up to how disgusting and inappropriate all of this is. If you are an adult and you want to undergo a, a gender change, that's fine, it's your life. If you want to go to a drag queen brunch and have a bunch of mimosas and get drunk, again, that's fine, that's your life. I will do my part and try to represent and advocate for healthier choices and hopefully a healthier society and culture. In the end, it's your life. The government isn't gonna step in to tell you you can't do that. But don't you dare touch children. Like, we draw the line there. You're disgusting. Guys, we are adding new comment section content every single day, so make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and ring that bell so that you never miss a video. See you next time.